YouTubers, this is Hello Kitty Paw 1992. Monica, Hello Kitty Paw from Zwinky. Hi! And today I'm going to be showing you all something really cool in FDS that will actually help you all out to where you can align stuff properly so in the final results things don't look off. And um, I'm going to be showing you all this program that's very helpful and I'm going to um, show you all you know, how to use it, of course. So um, I have the little link here of um, the program. I'm going to be copying and pasting it to my URL so you all can see the site and everything. But this link will also be in the description of this vid. So, um, so in case you all can't see it here, but like I said, it'll be in the description of this vid. So what you're going to do is pull up your, you know, your browser. Be sure, of course, that you're logged onto your Zwinky. And then you're going to pretty much, since it's going to be clickable on my description, you know, go for it. Or, you know, save the link. But this is it right here. This is the site. And automatically the program will download. It's called Ghost It. So then, um, once that's there and everything, um, then what you're going to do is, of course, you're going to open the program up. Okay, so then, like, here we have, um, the Ghost It, you know, EXE, so, of course, double-click it and open it up, you know. And, um, the program will be, of course, you know, there. It's this little white ghost thingy, you know, it's down here. So then what you're going to do, then, is you're going to ghost it. Well, first of all, what you're going to do then is be sure that you have your Zwinky base, you know. Um, because, you know, just have a Zwinky base all ready for you in case, you know, you, you're going to be using a female or whatever, you know, that you're going to use. And then, you know, you're going to put, you know, the ghost on it. So then, like, you know, it looks all transparency-like, you know. Because pretty much that is going to go over your FDS um, base and everything so that, you know, you put your buttons where you want it to be on what it looks like the picture when really it's going to be on the FDS. So, um, you know, that's pretty much what you're going to do. So you're going to have to align and everything, you know, of course, you may make it the right size and all. And then, um, after that, you know, you can also decrease and increase the transparency of the, um, ghost it so that you'll be able to, you know, see, you know, not only, you know, the base of the, um, the picture, but you could see the base of the FDS as well, so you go to the configure and you just, after that, you click the inactive window and the alpha and you just adjust it to however you want it to be, you know, that sort of thing. And then after that, um, you know, just aligning it here and get it all perfect and everything. So then once you're done with that, you know, apply, okay, and then, um, pretty much put whatever, you know, however you want it to be, you know, that sort of thing, you know. Okay, so, um, also, like, when, um, when you bring back, um, when you bring back, uh, the program, you know, after you check out to see if it looks, you know, right enough, and then you bring back, um, the base, you have to make sure, too, that because, you know, you won't be able to put anything on it, uh, we won't be able to, like, you know, check it right, like, the transparency, but what you would have to do is that you would have to, like, be sure to click Zwinky so that the, um, so that you can see the transparency there, and then you can continue to add, you know, whatever. And then, you know, just click it, and then click it again so that it'll minimize. So you do it like that, click Zwinky, and then continue. So yeah, it's pretty simple like that. <laughs> like, you pretty much, this is so helpful to being able to align it by using um, this program, and being able to use a regular Zwinky base, you know, like when you make a new outfit. I don't know why Zwinky did not have something like this for the FDS because it can be very helpful since a lot of the stuff that I'm sure people make seems so freaking off and everything. But this was also helpful for when I create piercings as well on my Zwinky. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, it's pretty simple just like that, you know, and, um, it's fun. So, like, you know, be sure that, you know, uh, you have adjust the transparency as much as you want it to be, you know, that sort of thing. And um, I'm going to be showing you all this awesome little creation and everything of a penguin that's just so cute. And basically what I mean by that is that you can also use images as well. Um, what I mean by images is, like, let's say you want to make a raccoon or a bunny or an animal or whatever that you want and you want, like, somewhat of, like, a base for it, you know, and you, it, it's very helpful for like if you want to fill it in. Although I do not recommend it highly because a lot of stuff is copyright and everything and Zwinky of course is banning people for that nowadays like crazy. But I'm just saying 
that it's very helpful for that. Like, let's say you design your own little creation or whatever, and you want it to be an FDS. You know what I mean? You could just pretty much have the image there itself. Like, it would be just not this base. It would be like, um, like the image that you make or whatever, and then you just use the FDS to pretty much, you know, put whatever on it so it could create the finished result of the item that you actually made in reality, you know? So I'm going to be showing you all right now, actually, by this cute little penguin, you know? Yeah, so I'm going to be showing you all um, that I'm going to make this cute little penguin and everything, whatever. You know, what I mean by it could help fill it in pretty much, you know? So yeah, watch this.